Hello everyone, I'm Renown Zero, and we're back again talking about some more detractors as the ISO number 2 fulfillment heats up today, it starts today, and I've even got my email all ready for it. But I just want to start the video by saying do not interact with anyone I'm showing on this video, whether it be Twitter, YouTube, or any social media. I do thank everyone who is subscribed, I appreciate you watching all the videos. We're currently moving into monetization i do have to wait for some stuff but i really do appreciate everyone who's sent me a message congratulating me on my thousand subs i appreciate all of you for being here as of right now the iso number two campaign is currently sitting at 2.086 million still got a month to go here with 11,372 cover a's 11,774 cover b's 3,732 cover c's 1,969 cover D's with over 2,000 total books donated, 17,329 total purchasers. Like I said, still over a month to go. We did get some pictures here, you know, get the orders out. These are things that are on Eric July's Twitter account. We have the one of the artists of ISOM here, Igor, coming from, you know, coming to us from Brazil. My fellow Brazilians can't complain about what Eric is paying, and if you think it's just because we're taking advantage of the currency conversion, it ain't. Eric is also paying Americans to work with him, so his salaries are competitive to everyone. We just happen to be talented. Absolutely, it would appear that the artists are 100% talented. This is, of course, Gabe Altaib, saying, I've said it many times, Eric July pays more than Marvel or DC, and he pays faster. Lol, at the SJW haters keep crying weirdos who will keep having fun. Yes, the, the weirdos will also keep crying about me because I cover a content creator that I like. I'm covering a topic that I like and my viewers tune in to watch it, so, which is why I will continue to do it. So, you know, we got warehouse here, the truck coming in, UPS. Got all these orders getting sent out to UPS. We also got the announcement for the Yaira artist right here. Name is Deborah Sarita, which I'm sure it's not really said like that because it is Brazilian. Olá a todos. Meu nome é Olá a todos. Meu nome é Deborah Caritá. Eu sou desenhista e ilustradora e trabalho já há vários anos para a indústria norte-americana. She is also Brazilian, which is why she's speaking in Portuguese, which is the language they use over in Brazil. And that is actually how the, the proper way to say it de quadrinhos, para editoras como Marvel, Dark Horse, IDW, Dynamite e várias outras. And she's expressing how she has actual experience in the comic book industry versus the trash artists and writers that they hire over at Marvel and DC who have no experience and their books are absolute dog shit. Mas desta vez eu gostaria de convidar vocês a se juntarem a mim numa nova aventura, desta vez pela Ripaverse, o personagem Yaira. Yaira é uma personagem feminina incrível que teve seu roteiro escrito pelas igualmente incríveis e uma Soska. Eu tive a alegria. I'm sure the weirdos will call it woke when it comes out. You know, we got even some images of her artwork that she's done in other books. You can see it here, so at least you have some idea of the type of artwork she does. So we got it all here. Looks pretty dang good. So moving on to the next thing. So. Apparently the DP crew is going to do another live stream about me because they can't stop thinking about me. They're essentially have me living in their head rent free. Apparently this guy is claiming that 75% of my viewership is going to leave. I, I don't think so because my viewers literally come to my channel to watch people like you fail at trying to do anything possible to shut me up and it's never going to happen try as you might do whatever you want clearly your audience is getting sick of it because i've seen comments where your audience really doesn't care anymore about me but you're going to continue to do live streams and you're going to continue to stay irrelevant and you can you're going to continue to have a dead channel like you do because you have 108,000 subs and somehow you can only muster up like 150 people in a live stream and it's usually the same people so you're, you're not growing but we will show here some comments that were left by my fan base talking about you 
and laughing at you because that's what my fan base does. My fan base laughs at you because you're so dumb that you think you attaching yourself to my name is somehow going to get you some new viewers. And, it, and it's been proven time and time again that your channel is not growing. You haven't gained a new sub in three plus years. And you're going to continue to do the same thing over and over again. The actual definition of insanity. So. Shadow Jack says, as long as you control the IP, you have created control. Exercise the well, this control will do just fine. And be faithful to the source material, which is all anyone wants. That is exactly right. Keep living in their heads rent free, brother. Whack the tractors. We aren't angry or hateful. We're upset by the deletion of our franchises. The success of Ripperverse and Comicsgate proved that we just want good material with, without an ideologic agenda and are happy when we get it. Congrats on reaching 1K. Of course, we have one of your weirdo people here. And I said, yawn, get better material, keep coping. I'm sure that'll help you in the long run. Buster Baxter can't even keep a straight face without Hardy's lying. Why do these weirdos think Eric satisfied customers are angry and hateful? It's actually the opposite because they're happy with the product. The only ones hating are the woke weirdos. Eric and his paying customers and fans are laughing at these creepy weirdos. But it's effing trash and Eric is a talentless cook. Yeah, the guy who, the guy who has a wife that helps him with his business, the wife that he promotes her business in his comic book. Yeah, that's that that's that's the cuck. Not not the guy commenting on someone's channel that they don't like. Like I don't I don't do I don't do this beta male shit. Like, not only the actual phantom call call a black man this word, but he also called a woman this and bullied her off YouTube, which I was already told that the person left off her own accord, but oh yeah, he's the good guy. The walking block of tofu with a voice that sounds like if the color page could talk. No, that's the one who will protect us from the evil anti-fans, which totally exists, guys. We swear they're just evil anti-fans and not people who simply have differing opinions to us. And of course, screw the drunken parasites. That's exactly what they are. You crossed like 1k subs. Congratulations. And there you go. I don't watch all of Eric July's videos, but the ones I have watched, I have enjoyed and I haven't gotten angry. I've just found what he talks about interesting, but I haven't gotten angry about it. Yeah, they definitely told people to go to every platform you stream on. In this clip, I found Billy the Fat Rats out of all Eric's haters and says they're all mentally challenged, including them. Maybe you can make some kind of intro video for it make video, make a video talking about what he said about Eric's haters because what, what he said is so true and he's so dumb. He doesn't even realize what he said. Got Longbeard, who's actually been subbed for three weeks. Tis tis. Phobic meme, also wrong use of a meme. Straight to jail. Great meme. But it's okay when they do it. Shout out to 210LG. Go sub to the channel. Great dude. Puts on live streams every week. It's always okay when they do it, don't you know? Here they are right here, coping. We don't need Eric July to tell us what we hate. This guy needs Hollywood to tell him what he likes. We don't... Yeah, of course, that's another one of my detractors. Actually, one of my detractors now. Calm down, this word. It's like, I don't know who this is. And every time someone uses this word, they they spell it a different way every single time. They can't keep up. Get new material. Rent free, you're mad, you're fat, I'm growing. Yes, yeah, so much variety. Do you know why I use this? Because you get so angry about it. And I just sit back and laugh at you. And my fans sit back and laugh at you. Because you get so mad about it. You get so butthurt about it. I'm going to keep doing it and poking it at you. Because you get so mad about it. You forgot to mention how you blocked everyone like a coward. I didn't do any blocking myself. My mods did because my mods don't really care about my YouTube drama. My mods don't care what you're doing and what you're coming into my live streams for. My mod and a couple other people come to my live streams to have fun, not to be crowded up with garbage and drivel in my freaking chats. And how your stream was so boring that not even you could stay awake for it. I'm sorry, I, I have a life outside of streaming and YouTubing. I do other things that don't involve YouTube and streaming. So you admit to this bad thing, harassment. They always tell on themselves. Like you and some of us said before, they're not the brightest lot. Calling people fragile, saying I'm harassing, which again, this doesn't have a fan base because that doesn't exist. You keep you, you keep you keep taking letters out of things and changing letters to things and you sound like a five-year-old 
Just like people in my comments have said, you sound like a beta. You sound just like actual fandom when he calls when he calls Eric July Derek August. It's it's weird. You can't just say things normally, like you have to act like a total bitch essentially. <laughs> Are you going into counseling over your harassment? It's like Dude, you're weird. Again, I don't know who this is. I don't know what any of this is. This just sounds like more drivel. Cope, bud. I don't sweat fat weirdos on the internet who have gay fantasies about me and type like they're five years old. I live rent free in your head considering you still talk about me and even your own viewers want you to stop. You talk trash about other people. I don't talk trash. I commentate on lies that you literally put out there talking about Oh, Isom's bad. Isom is terrible. My opinion is gospel, and Isom gets his gets Jesus powers. And and I talked about how you 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 constantly honed in on the character's junk because it's weird. You talked about it so much, like the glow cross above the man's junk, so much that I made fun of you for it, and you're mad about it. Yet here you are just saying the same stuff you always do. Come on our stream and show us how smarter you are, how much smarter you are. I don't do that because I don't care to debate disingenuous, nonsensical, lying pieces of garbage. Was this a comment? All I heard was goo goo gaga. We're losers. We have nothing better to do than harass and grip off an Eric July fan because we're too insecure to accept that people can like things we don't like. I like this guy a lot. <laughs> He always makes fun of these weirdos. Losers will be losers to the true to the end. The only fragile one is you. That's why you're over here. Blocking drunken bums isn't cowardice. It's common sense. Eric isn't going to ha to do things with you, bro. You're fat. It's like, it's like one of those things where it's like, no, you. It's like, what are we five? And I said, oh my god, how will I ever go on? I stay winning all the time. Drunken peasants are winning, said no one ever with a straight face. Drunken peasants fail pretty much sums up everything as far as they're concerned. It's like, y'all are, tr are losers, dude. You don't understand how dumb you are. But here we go. Because I know it bothers you so much. Negative views. No increase. Nothing. Same stagnant views every day. Me, always growing. I can afford to have a bad month. But at least I have new viewers watching my stuff. <laughs> That's the difference. Yes, I had a great month because this is when all the hype was when, when ISOM2 launched and all you weirdos came out the wet work talking a bunch of garbage because that's what you do moving on eric july was recently promoted to grand wizard of this local chapter okay i sum number two at a 40.2 percent retention rate forty-two thousand nine hundred twenty-six versus seventeen thousand two hundred eighty-seven. that's horrible yes because majority of number twos in any industry typically have less people it's a fact of life it happens all the time it's not a new concept i mean it is a new concept for people who don't know anything about the comic industry but it's not really a new concept in any form or fashion i mean you still got you still got you still got dick masterson talking about it for god's sake even making a dumb comment like this where Flash is talking about AI, where Yellow Flash is talking about AI eliminating weirdo woke English localization teams. What a stupid and fat thing to say. Like, what does what does this have to? What does this really mean? <laughs> what does this mean, dude? Like, you're constantly like you and you and <laughs> you and DP are constantly coping, dude. You didn't read the book. No one did. A lot of people did. I know it's hard for you for your small brain and intelligence to believe, but a lot of people read this book. I have a review on my channel, for God's sake. Who has the better self-insert comic? Andrew Tate, this word, 
Air July, moron. Of course, you're still talking about Eric. The writing sucks. It's your opinion, but you're allowed to have it. I don't know why you want it so badly to be gospel. But, of course, you also have people like actual fandom who are promoting piracy of the comic. Because you hate Eric July so much, and he lives rent-free in your head, and you cope so much about his success, and you want to hurt his business. Which is why I continue to talk about weirdos like you, like all the other weirdos I talk about. Because you try so hard to damage a man's business, and it's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. I don't see none of you doing the amount of research and nonsense and slander that you do against... You don't do any of that against Marvel and DC. You do it a lot to Eric July. And it's BS. Weird crap going on with this book on eBay. A signed copy auctioned off got 12 bids. The winning bid was for less than unsigned copies sold on the website originally. CGC greatest signed copies are anywhere from 150 to 2,000 no bids. I thought this was a hot seller. Again, this is a copy of the book that is a mass print. It's a mass print book that anyone can buy. Mass print book that anyone can buy. The other two covers, A and B for ISOM 1, sell a lot, bud. Just to prove the point, let's go to eBay real quick. Just to prove the point. Because I have to do this all the time for some reason. One fifty. One fifty bid, two fifty buy it now. So it was a bid, one fifty. Sold today, by the way. Signed ISO number one, one fifty. Here you go. One fifty. One oh two. This is just this is a non signed copy, by the way. Non signed copy. One eighty. This is the best offer. This was bad. Oh, out of print. This was not could sell. <laughs> These are those people just trying to get rid of it probably, but two twenty nine ninety nine for a signed cover A. It's like dude, get a grip. Get a grip on reality. Again, promoting piracy of, of, of the, the supposed comic industry you love so much, yet you go ahead and pirate an independent comic because you dislike the creator. And you have multiple posts about it too. Okay, I've avoided this because it seems like a trap, but like, what the F is this? My brain keeps saying North Africa, and that simply cannot be right. No shit. It's your reading comprehension is terrible. Got Melanie Mack here. Got this. Later, I can't end, I can't end Air July without a video on this fella. It's like, again, Air July lives absolutely rent-free in people's heads to no... I don't know. They People just like to reach a lot. And they try so hard, once again, like I said earlier, to try to damage this man's business constantly with no repercussions. But I will continue to call out the weirdos. I'll continue to call, continue to call out the detractors. And again, I thank everyone for being here. Thank you for checking out this video. If you do like this video, hit that like button. Comment below what you feel about all this. Again, do not interact or comment, comment on anything or anyone you've seen. Keep all of your comments in the comment section down below. Subscribe for more content like this. Hit, hit the bell for notifications. Set the bell to all. That way you get notifications anytime I post a new video. And I will see you all on the next one. Peace.